What's going on fragrance family? Welcome to another episode of Taking a Test Drive. This series is where I wear a scent on my skin as my scent of the day for several days, including today, from my own personal collection. And it's time to give you my thoughts before it goes into the vault for a full-fledged review. Today's test drive is on the house of Chopard and it's part of the Malaki line, which I absolutely love. You wanna see? <laughs> I, got, I got three of them. Um, I want more, but uh, we'll, we're gonna talk about one of them today. And this one, of course, is the second one of the line that I bought back in 2019 after the Oud. So I purchased this Oud Malaki, loved it, blind bought it, and I continued throughout the line to blind buy. But today we're going to be talking about Amber Malaki, the one that I unboxed, but never really spoke about it again. And I wanna discuss a little bit about it uh, four years later. So let's delve into Amber Malaki. Under the hood, let's go. Release date was back in 2015. The nose behind this is Amandine Clerc Marie, uh, which is also the nose for Rose Malaki, which I don't own yet of the same line. Uh, major notes to my nose. Uh, upon testing, of course, this is an amber-based fragrance, which is good news for all of us. Orange Blossom uh, plays a, a very much an integral role in this release, which I haven't heard too many reviews speak about the Orange Blossom, but it does have a big role, especially in this introduction of this release. And of course, incense. So let's remind me of this introduction. As I said previously, it is my scent of the day today, but I wanna remind myself of the introduction. I'll spray the back of my hand here and remind me of the introduction before we delve into it. And Ooh, she's, she's nice. Syrupy, dark, um, comforting. Um, Amber Malaki um, doesn't disappoint from the word go. Um, this scent has that syrupy, ambery glow that I absolutely love in amber-based fragrances. It's vanillic, it's sweet, uh, slightly boozy, and resinous. Um, this opening reminds me of two other fragrances that I have in my collection, uh, one designer and one niche. Uh, reminds me of Gautier Squared, which actually got re-released by Jean-Paul Gautier, good for them. And it meets a little bit of Grand Soir by MFK. Now, these two fragrances both have basically cult followings in our fragrance community. So those are pretty big shoes to fill um, as far as scent wise, as comparables. And I feel like this particular release, Amber Malaki, uh, does the job. What I absolutely love from Amber Malaki is right from the get-go, my first couple wearings, I felt like there was some back and forth with two notes. Obviously the big uh, obvious one was the amber, but I was trying to find what was that secondary note. And I love um, that back and forth for the rich, dark, syrupy, vanillic, almost boozy amber that matches well with the orange blossom. Now, the orange blossom plays its part even though it's surrounded by much darker notes in this release and thicker notes in this release too. There is some in the back end here that are darker, thicker, and they could really engulf this fragrance because it is built like that. But the orange blossom gives this fragrance its honeyed sweetness, but mostly it, it gives the fragrance almost a clean, soapy, almost a powdery take here in the opening. I absolutely love this opening where these two notes go head to head in this release. Um, it, it, it really kept reminding me of a, a fragrance that Francis K would have built, talking about Grouse Water, um, just because of course, Orange Blossom, Amber, those are notes that Francis K uh, has utilized mu in multiple fragrances and is actually a master with amber and orange blossom, has some very high-end fragrances with both those notes. Um, so it is a compliment to the nose that when I smelt this introduction and I kept smelling it and I'm like, this is a Francis K creation, but no, it's somebody else that made it. Um, it was very well built from the get-go. Now let's get into the dry down of Amber Malaki because that's where we got our steak and potatoes. So the Amber Malaki brings out more of a darker notes into the dry down. Um, the central theme is still that Amber. So a good thing that, you know, it's, it's named Amber. You're going to get Amber all the way through. Um, the central theme stays the same. The orange blossom takes a step back 
to the incense. So incense comes up and papyrus comes up too, which amplifies from the introduction. So those notes were in the introduction, but now they're getting um, a little more prominent, we'll say with the amber. The incense isn't big, it's not bold in this scent. Don't expect much smoke in this release. It's just a resinous quality that gives the amber its spotlight. The papyrus gives the scent a woody and leathery aspect, uh, which gives the scent another piece of complexity. Um, the amber shows all its facets that it did in the opening. Nothing changes here and continues to push that theme until the end of the scent. So there's not much development here. Um, if you like the introduction, you're gonna like the ending. I don't see anybody smelling this fragrance and letting us know that, oh, I really like the introduction, but I dislike the dry down. Um, uh, there's not much of a big change here. Um, I could see somebody maybe not liking the orange blossom in the opening. And then that kind of dies down and it gets much darker in the back end. I could see that. Overall, a very good scent from top to bottom. Amber Malaki, uh, one that I highly recommend. Now let's get into Seasons Day Night Versatility and Performance Seasons. Um, I would have to go, of course, it's a darker scent. So fall and winter are the best seasons for it. I could see you um, wearing it at night during summer and spring. There's no problem with that, especially an overcast spring day or something like that. Perfect for that. Day or night, I feel like this is more of a nighttime scent than a daytime scent. Versatility, fairly average. I can see this, you know, I could wear this all year round, honestly, if I wear it all at night. Um, I feel like it could do that, especially depending on, on your location. As far as performance goes, um, that is the one thing I really wanted to note in this seven day trial. It was something that went all over the place a little bit for me. And I wanna see in the comments below if, if you had this with this particular release. Um, and this happens with certain fragrances um, doing this type of video. You need more testing. So as far as performance go, longevity gave me around about six to eight hours. So a little less than what I want. And projection was average. Um, so on a few wearings, this particular release uh, ran out of steam on a few wearings around hour five or six. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I, I feel like the six to eight hours in the projection, fairly average. That's the norm, I think, of this release. But there's a few times that I was like, hmm, this thing ran out of steam quite quickly. So my final thoughts on Amber Malaki from uh, Chopard, you already know. Um, Chopard is quietly releasing these excellent fragrances in our community. Um, there's unfortunately not too much press on these releases, but this Malaki line, since I smelt Oud and I bought this Amber, I've been wanting to get the rest of the line and I've been just uh, trying to get, you know, I, I got Black Incense Malaki a few years back, uh, but I do want to get the others. And it's not like you're breaking the bank. These bottles are heavy, they look great. Um, I love the, the brush metal look on their caps. Um, so for the price, this is a standout amber, uh, in my personal opinion, for the price that you're paying at discounters, um, this is a no brainer purchase if you enjoy ambers. It's not a new idea per se, you know, the comparables of course of Grand Soir and Gauthier Squared for me, um, those are my comparables. I could probably have a few more comparables, uh, but uh, I feel like this one is a excellent scent. It's just nothing that is new to the game and the use of orange blossom in this release i think is the one the one note that stands out it is a very good amber but the orange blossom itself um did remind me of something that francis k would do and that is of course an odd to uh the nose um so i had to double check the nose behind the scent as it reminded me of his work so overall i'm looking forward to testing this one out more to see how it does versus the comparables but early testing right now shows me that this is an excellent designer release. And for the price, um, I'm hard pressed to try to think of something that it could uh, beat this as far as scent wise. Um, it's, it's, it's dark, it's comforting, it's beautiful, it's great uh, for these uh, winter months. So a recommended sniff by me right here, Chopal's Amber Malaki. Now I'm done with it. It's going in the vault for more testing for the full-fledged review. But it's time for you to hit us up in the comments below. What do you think of it? Looking forward to reading your comments. And yes, if you own others from the Malaki line, I don't own the Rose and the Musk. Um, I'm really interested. Which one should I get next if you own those? I might appreciate those comments. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching, YouTube.